This episode of Funky Fitness Now is made possible by listeners like you. Get exclusive rewards and more by visiting funkyfitnessnow.com forward slash support. Funky Fitness Now, episode 50. Funky or fake, the championship edition. I'm going to be your translator in English. What's wrong with her? She doesn't speak English. Okay. It's Yorkshire. (laughs) Great. I can't wait for that day. That'll be super fun. Welcome to Funky Fitness Now, where every week we take a look at some of the creative, unusual, and crazy things people do to get fit. We have a lot of fun, and occasionally we even learn something. So fasten your weight belt. It's time for Funky Fitness Now. Here are your hosts, Steve Stearns and Jessica Bailey. Hi, and welcome to Funky Fitness Now, episode 50. It's the big 5 I'm Steve Stearns from Outside Health and Fitness, and I am totally jazzed, pumped, stoked, smoked, and wired that you're here tonight or today, depending upon whenever you're listening to this thing, because we are playing one of my all-time favorite games, Funky or Fake. And it's not the sock edition. It's not some smelly thing. It's not the cabbage edition. It is the championship edition. And speaking of champions, my co-host from Sassy Girl Fitness NYC, Jessica Bailey. Hi, I'm a champion. Woo-hoo. At um, least I didn't say you were a sock or something. Right. That I would, know. That remember when stinky. I don't remember what exactly you said, but remember a couple of weeks ago when you were like, It's Jessica. <laughs> You're like I don't remember what it was. I was like I was lazy or something. It was really <laughs> low key. Even was it last week when you were cold? Like yes. you were a mean lady. I don't yeah, know mean lady, that's it. Yeah. Yeah. It was a whole week ago. Yeah. Oh, that whole week ago. Who can remember that far back? This is great. Are you ready to get your Vanna White on? Because we're, pl- we're doing a game show tonight. Um, you know I love to wear sparkly dresses, so yeah. <laughs> Me too. All right. Uh, you do? That might be interesting. Okay. Well, on today's show, you're going to discover that humans love to compete at pretty much everything. And these odd contests from all over the world prove it. Some are true. Some we made up. Can you guess which ones are true, Funky? And which ones are fake? Right. So funky equals true. Funky Uh, equals true. Well, we had to change true to funky. Right. That way there's two Fs. Hello. Okay. All right. But first thing is first. We need to make sure that you know that we're not endorsing any of the healing treatments, activities, equipment, concepts, chow, or added features that we're sharing with you on the show. Right. If you hear something we're talking about and think to yourself, you know, I'd really like to have a trophy on my shelf saying that I'm the best in the world at this really crazy thing that I just heard on Funky Fitness Now, we'd like you to check with your doctor first. It's always a good idea to get their okay before you start any new exercise or diet plan. Plus, they might be entering the exact same contest and want to disqualify you. So give them that chance. All right. So let's talk about how this works. Okay. We're going to share with you some funky sports we found online. Some of these are real, funky, and some of these we made up, fake. Right. So can you tell which of these weird sports are funky and which ones are fake? Let's test your funky sports knowledge right now. First on the list. Okay. Well, you might be inclined to think that this is a a contest that's mock sumo wrestling with competitors donning sumo suits. It's actually a little stranger. Instead, athletes competing in this sumo suit athletics world championships compete in standard athletic challenges. <laughs> it includes a 100-meter sprint, the long jump, the high jump, shot put, and 400-meter endurance race, all while wearing a sumo suit. <laughs> Is it funky or fake? Interesting. So these are these are guys that are in the big sumo suits, like the big balloony sumo suit things, but they're doing the 100-meter sprint and stuff. Yeah, they're doing the 100-meter sprint, the long jump, the high jump, you know. Nice. Uh, I, I'm not sure why we're wearing a sumo suit, but we are wearing a sumo suit. Okay, let's, let's hear it. Is it funky or fake? It's funky. Wow, crazy. It's probably really funny to watch. That's probably why they do it. It's probably very entertaining. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I'm sure they encourage a lot of spectators for that. <laughs> yeah. we. You know, they should do it like as uh, like teams because you could probably get more than one person in one of those suits. 
Don't you think? You probably could get more than one person, but you would have to be awfully close. So you need True. to make sure that your teammate is someone that you're comfortable sharing sweat with. Okay, so number two, this is another one. You guys see if you think this is funky or fake. It's called the World Watching Paint Dry Championships. Now, you might be saying to yourself, mm. the show is so boring, I'm doing this right now. But no, this is what they do. Listen, this one tests your concentration and your endurance. Um, so what you have to do to do this is, if you want to compete in this championship, you have to send in a picture of yourself watching paint dry and then state how long you did that that you manage to stare at the wall watching the paint dry without looking away. That's how you play this game. So I suppose you could just make up anything. You also have to tell the organizers what your favorite color is and why. (laughs) Okay. (laughs) So is this funky or fake? Two questions. We have to ask questions before I can tell you what I think it is. One, why do you have to tell the organizers about your favorite color? What the heck does that mean? I have no idea. And, And why... They don't even get people together to do this competition. You just send in a picture and go, this is a picture of me staring at the wall. I did it for uh, six days. You win. This is ridiculous. You could totally lie. You could totally be like, hey, husband, take a picture of me looking at the wall. Okay, first of all, it's a really boring picture. Can you imagine if you were the organizer of this event? You just start looking at people staring at paint. So is it funky or fake? That's right. Funky. This is a real contest, believe it or not. What? Wow. How is that real? That's so weird. It's totally crazy. I got another one for you. It's the World Black Pudding Throwing Championship. So the World Black Pudding Throwing Championship is a competition where the contestants have three opportunities to knock down Yorkshire. Yorkshire. Is it Yorkshire or Yorkshire? Yorkshire. Yorkshire, oh, look at you. You're so fancy. Hello. You know. Yorkshire. Yorkshire puddings that rest on a 20-foot high platform. Those that would like to eat the puddings rather than launch them can do so as they're on sale at the event. <laughs> uh, right? Okay. So uh, it's fitness because you're throwing, right? Okay. You have to like, you know, your shoulder has to have, be mobile. <laughs> right? I don't know. So you throw yeah. pudding at pudding to knock pudding over, or you throw something else at pudding? Um, no, you throw the black pudding mm-hmm. on this 20-foot foot platform. So it's a 20-high-foot platform, and you're... Oh, oh, I thought you were supposed to knock the puddings off of the platform. Oh, maybe that's... no. Yeah, you're right. You're right. I think you knock... I think... Oh, God. I have no idea. that I'm really confused Ooh. with this one. <laughs> So is this funky or fake? Unfortunately, it's funky. Wow, it's a real thing. Yeah. I'm very confused by this championship, obviously. So we'll have to go there because it's in England, right? So there's another opportunity for Funky Fitness to take a trip. This is why we need the Patreon pledges, people. So we can take these trips and find (laughs) out the answer to these stupid questions. Like... Do they throw the pudding at a wall or do they throw something at a pudding on a wall? This is important to know. (laughs) But it's going to take cash. (laughs) It's going to require some funding for the research. (laughs) Because clearly I don't know how to pronounce anything, so I I can't go by myself. Right. You need me (laughs) to... We need to go. (laughs) Yeah. I'm going to be your translator in English. What's wrong with her? She doesn't speak English. Okay. (laughs) It's Yorkshire. (laughs) Great. I can't wait for that day. That'll be super fun. That'll be fantastic. Okay. So you ready for the next one? Yep. Okay. The next one is the North American Snowblower Championships. So here's what you do. (laughs) Get your goggles and your big boots ready because that's what it takes if you want to win the Golden Snowbank. That's what they give away as a big trophy here. And it's important that spectators of the sport sit on the proper side of the field because there's going to be snow going everywhere. So you get teams of two. They compete in this 50-yard square area, and the first team and they do it kind of like a tag team like wrestling the first team to clear all the snow from the spot wins and they actually have taken a page from the color me rad guys they color the snow now so when they blow it it looks like a big rainbow that's the north american snowblower championships baby oh my god okay 
all of these championships are crazy. So <laughs> I don't even know if this is funky or fake. First I of said, all, I should have said you have to knock a snowblower off a wall. Yeah. <laughs> no, you have to, I don't know. To throw what pudding you do. at a snowblower. No. Oh my yeah, God. this okay. is fake. Uh, this isn't real. Thank God it is fake. But I think it should be real. I think it sounds like a great contest. Can you uh, imagine? Sure. No. First the of all, snow. where are you sitting? If you have to, uh, are you <laughs> sitting in the snow? Like this, no. that could be cold. Your butt would be very cold. It would be bleachers. You'd be watching. It'd almost be like the Indy Five Hundred. It's a huge bleachers with people, snowblowers. The I don't want to go to that. I think that sounds like a terrible time. I think it sounds more fun than the pudding thing. Okay. So we on Funky Fitness, we have talked about high heeled workouts. And we talked we about like being fit in high heels. All right. So this is called the Marathon in High Heels. So, you Ugh. know, many cities like Sydney and Paris and Amsterdam, they are lucky because they have a high heeled marathon. So mm-hmm. participants in this co- in this competition, they cover eighty meters in heels. So they're running, and I guess the winners in the race get sandals. I don't know. They get a, a pair of sandals at the end because, you know. They should get slippers. They're luxury sandals, okay? This is ridiculous. So it is strange, but all of these have been strange. So what do you think, funky or fake? Hmm. It is funky. It's real. Ooh. I know. I think it'd be fun to watch that, though, because everyone would be running really funny. And there's probably some great right? wipeouts. Oh, there's pro- oh, can you imagine? People are breaking their ankles like oh. no other. Yeah, people are going yeah. down all over the place. Snap, crackle, pop. Oh, oh. there! I hope that there Fantastic. is a hospital nearby. <laughs> Let's hope. This just in, news story. Tragedy struck at the World Farting Championship when a stray spark ignited a firestorm that injured two contestants. Fire investigators determined that the source was a smoker who tried to sneak a cigarette during the stinky fart free-for-all. Angus McSnorkin has been arrested and charged with reckless endangerment by the FAPD. When questioned, McSnorkin was unapologetic. Hey, who knew? It's not like they put up warnings at anything. Gretchen Tudor was on stage during the incident and was subsequently hospitalized with third-degree burns on her gluteus maximus. Witnesses say that she was in the middle of a contest-winning eruption when flames shot over the crowd and struck her squarely in the posterior. Tudor's tragedy has drawn attention to an event that has remained an obscure cult phenomena for much of the last century. The World Farting Championship was first sponsored in 1911 by the Johnson Fine Matches Corporation. The competition has been held every year since its inception, although the location has frequently changed. Okay, first of all, this is disgusting. Is it a requirement to have a stinky fart? Apparently. This is not funky, even though it may smell funky. It's fake. Uh. This is a whole made-up thing. What? Did Uh. you make this up? I actually found this one all made up. It was quite elaborate, though. I liked it. Oh, my God. I like it, too, but I have so many questions about this. Okay, I'm glad <laughs> it is fake because what? This is insane. I don't like this. I, I really liked the name Angus McSnorkin. You know what I like? I like the name World Farting Championships. That's not bad, either. Speaking of Angus McSnorkin, we have launched a Patreon campaign, and we are really excited to tell you about it. Well, you know that we love doing Funky Fitness now and bringing you some more of the crazy things and ideas and championships that people are doing to stay fit and active. Right. And we'd like to ask for your support. That's why we've set up your Patreon page. This allows us to fly to England and figure out what's up with the pudding thing. When you become a Funky Fitness fan, you help make the show possible and you keep it ad-free, which is very important. And on your page, you're going to find some really cool rewards like behind-the-scenes videos and bonus content. Yeah, and you'll get episodes before anyone else, personalized videos, and a bunch of other cool, funky stuff. So visit funkyfitnessnow.com forward slash support and become a Funky Fitness fan now. We really do appreciate it. You can also find your Patreon link in the show notes for this episode at funkyfitnessnow.com forward slash five zero. And you'll find links to everything else that we talked about on the show today. But 
before we finish, I want to tell you, Steve, about this awesome thing that happened to me. Okay. I can't wait. So last night, I was at the gym Mm -hmm. teaching my usual classes, and after I get done, this sweet young girl comes up to me, and she asks me, she's like, are you Sassy Girl Fitness? And I said, yes, and she got very excited, and she told me that she listens to the show, and she's a big fan. Yay. How awesome is that? Uh, Like, it really made my night. That is so great. That is fantastic. I love that. No one has ever come up to me and said, are you Sassy Girl Fitness? It's never happened. Well, I, I hope that no one comes up to you and asks <laughs> if you are Sassy Girl Fitness. You don't look like my picture at all. You know, they would, they, I know. They'd be going like, oh, my God, honey, what happened to you? That's what they yeah. would say. Crazy. So uh, what do we have coming up next week? Next week, we're going to do weird exercises that you should be doing. I love it. That sounds like it's going to have a lot of value. It does sound like it's going to have a lot of value, but, you know, there are some weird exercises out there. All right. So until next time, I'm Steve Stearns. And I'm Jessica Bailey saying stay fit and funky. Thanks for listening to the show. If you haven't already, make sure you visit funkyfitnessnow.com for more of the weird, wild, and kooky things people do to stay fit. While you're there, be sure to sign up for our weekly newsletter so you never miss an episode. See you next week. 